An important astronomical event, the big announcement of Webb's first photographs, displayed the observatory's extraordinary capability of looking into the furthest reaches of our galaxy. Before we delve into what the observatory discovered, here is a quick review of what we know about WASP 96b so far. The second image that was revealed was of an exoplanet that we had previously tried to investigate but with only a handful of results and data. This time around, the scope of exploration is much greater, and the telescope has worked its magic. Ninety-six B is one of more than 5,000 confirmed exoplanets in the Milky Way. It is located approximately 1,150 light years away in the southern sky, constellation Phoenix. WASP 96b is a type of gas giant that does not have a direct analog in our solar system. WASP 96b has a mass that is less than half that of Jupiter and a diameter that is 1.2 times greater than Jupiter's. WASP 96b has a temperature that is greater than 1000 degrees Fahrenheit, making it far hotter than a pizza oven. It is also much puffier than any planet that orbits our sun, completing one circuit every Every three and a half Earth days. While we're at it, let's quickly look at what spectroscopy is so that we can detect molecules like water methane and carbon dioxide on distant planets. WASP 96b orbits extremely close to its Sun like star, just one ninth of the distance between Mercury and the Sun. After pointing the telescope at known exoplanets in our galaxy's Milky Way, astronomers wait for the planets to pass in front of their host stars so that they may observe the phenomenon. This technique, known as transit spectroscopy, requires the starlight to first travel through the atmosphere of the exoplanet, then through space, and finally into instruments called spectrographs aboard the Webb spacecraft. Spectrographs are essentially high-tech versions of prisms, and they work by separating the light into a spectrum of colors. The fact that some molecules, like water and air, may absorb certain wavelengths, colors, or intensities of light is an interesting phenomenon. They unveiled at the event some of the most incredible discoveries that have been made and that are going to be made by the powerful James Webb Space Telescope. Exoplanet research at the Space Telescope Science Institute, which runs the Webb Telescope, put it in good terms by saying that each molecule has a specific diet. This is sort of exactly what is going on here. All right, on to what they unveiled at the event. Some of the most incredible discoveries made and that are going to be made by the Webb Telescope. Instruments instead can detect what the atmospheres of extremely distant exoplanets or planets beyond our solar system are composed of. In NASA's event, it was revealed that the James Webb Space Telescope has detected the distinct signature of water on the hazy exoplanet WASP-96b, 1,150 light years away, although it isn't the first detection of water molecules in another world. James Webb Space Telescope has detected the distinctive signature of water on the hazy exoplanet, while the Hubble Space Telescope has analyzed numerous exoplanet atmospheres over the past two decades, capturing the first clear detection of water in 2013. The Webb Telescope, which was built with a 21-foot mirror more than two and a half times larger than Hubble, allows incredible views into those distant planets like WASP-96b, the space agency said. Webb's immediate and more detailed observations mark a giant leap forward in the quest to characterize potentially habitable planets. Webb's near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph, or NURIS, measured light from the WASP-96 system for 6.4 hours as the planet moved across the star. This resulted in a light curve showing the overall dimming of starlight during the transit, and the transmission spectrum revealed the brightness change of individual wavelengths of infrared light between 0.6 and 2.6 microns. The light curve confirmed the properties of the planet that had already been determined from other sources. A transmission spectrum is made by comparing starlight filtered through a planet's atmosphere as it moves across the star to the unfiltered starlight detected when the planet is beside the star. Researchers are able to detect and measure the abundance of key gases in a planet's atmosphere using Webb's transmission spectrum. Some of these details include the unambiguous signature of water, indications of haze, 
and evidence of clouds that were previously thought to not exist. This part of the spectrum is especially sensitive to water, as well as other important molecules like oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide. These molecules are not immediately apparent in the spectrum of WASP-96b, but they should be detectable in other exoplanets that are scheduled to be observed by Webb. With this data, researchers will be able to use the spectrum to measure the amounts of water vapor in the atmosphere, constrain the abundance of various elements like carbon and oxygen, and estimate the temperature. A lot of questions are going to be answered with this new data, and it's literally just the beginning of it. The blue light on the graph represents a best fit model that takes into account the data, the known properties of WASP-96b, and its star-like size, mass, and temperature, and assume characteristics of the atmosphere. In short, a lot of questions are going to be answered. Because of Webb's cutting-edge design, these measures are able to produce a level of detail and clarity that is almost unimaginably precise. Its 207 gold-coated mirror does an excellent job of efficiently collecting infrared light. Its precision spectrographs spread light out in rainbows of thousands of different infrared colors. Its sensitive infrared detectors measure extremely subtle differences in brightness. The nearest detectable color differences of only about one thousandth of a micron, and differences in the brightness between those colors of a few hundred parts per million. The extraordinarily detailed spectrum that was created by simultaneously analyzing 280 individual spectra captured over the observation provides just a hint of what Webb has in store for exoplanet research over the coming year. Over the course of the next year, researchers will use spectroscopy to analyze the surface and atmosphere of several dozen exoplanets, ranging from small rocky planets to gas and ice-rich giants. Exoplanets and the materials that comprise them are the focus of almost one quarter of Webb's first cycle of observations, also known as Cycle 1 Observation Time. This observation reveals that Webb has the capability to characterize the atmospheres of exoplanets, including those of potentially habitable worlds, in the greatest amount of detail possible. The scientists working on the Webb Space Telescope intend to also direct the powerful instrument at potentially Earth-like worlds that are smaller and more rocky. There could be well over a trillion exoplanets in our galaxy alone, but we know ravishingly little about them. As frightening as it sounds, Espinoza's thoughts are a glimmer of hope because he says we've only been able to barely scratch the surface, and there's nothing more true than that. What do you think about the data received from Webb Telescope about WASP-96b? And what other exoplanets do you want to see Webb research into? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel to make sure you don't miss out on the latest space news. We have another interesting video ready for you. Click on it and we'll take you on the next space adventure. See you next time.